we've come to the moment we've all been waiting for. It's time to try some camel milk. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is your one-stop shop to build a beautiful online presence for your brand. With everything from marketing tools and analytics and so much more, you need to try it. You can use code Molly Burke to get 10% off your purchase of a website or domain name. Hello and welcome to Dubai, my friends. I am so excited. You see my cane in hand. That means Elton John sadly could not be joining me. But my mom and I are excited to be gallivanting around Dubai and Abu Dhabi over the next 10 days. I already miss Elton so much. He is making his presence known though because every single pocket I open or bag I open, there is poop bags, kiblets, all of it. You can tell I'm a dog mom because they're just everywhere. How are poop bags seemingly everywhere? when you don't need them and nowhere when you do. Is that just me? Let me know. We just arrived last night after a 28 hour travel day. Got a good night's sleep. Like I got a good six hours and you've got a fine three or four. <laughs> um, but we have a tour scheduled for today. The car is gonna pick us up. We've got, I think a six hour tour scheduled. We are starting with, actually, you know what? I'm gonna head to the car and then I'll tell you. Ooh, suspense, it's a cliffhanger. Before I get in the car, I want to show you my outfit because I'm feeling very like cute desert chic. So I have this pearl hairband that I've been wearing so much. I got it in a pack of three at Anthropology. Just a bunch of like gold jewelry. Um, then I have my Lueve bag. This is us joking with my mom's very international outfit. My Lueve bag that I got in Barcelona. I have this crazy yoga top on. This is I think called like the apricot white or something like that. And then these pants. So cute. They're like a cream color, very like um, sweatpant, but make it elevated and stylish. Like all the details, like the seaming and the pockets and the pull ties, like obsessed. And then these comfy shoes are from Tokyo, but they're from a Chinese brand. And they're like the cream as well, nude color with pearls and sparkles, which ties in the pearl hairband and the sparkle sunglasses like how cute I feel like I'm in like workout gear slash sweatpants slash pajamas but like I look put together and chic which is so perfect for like first day still jet-lagged want to be comfortable but look put together are you rolling me I'm rolling 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 <laughs> so where rolling are we in Molly the market. <laughs> spread a little market we're in a market Shopping. Mm -hmm. The first place Molly comes, there is shopping opportunities. <laughs> Shop opportunities, as I call them. It smells so beautiful. Like beautiful, like Absolutely incense stunning. or perfume, just like but really light. Like it's not overpowering the smell. And the first thing I heard when I walked in was this like pounding sound. And our tour guide was saying they were making Turkish ice cream, which tastes different to like Italian ice cream that I would be used to. So I'm really intrigued. I might have to try some of that at some point while I'm here. Here we see some footage of the tour guide guiding Molly through this gorgeous marketplace. You guys, look, there's like this camel statue at the market and it has all of the different, like, what would this be? That's a, is that, a, feels like a drum. Is it a case? Is a case, this one. And then there's a little pillow. Exactly, here a basket. Basket. Basket for that stuff. Wow. When they used to go from one oasis to another one to cross the desert. Right. They used to do uh, all that stuff. And then that's, a, it feels like a, a carpet. Correct. It's like a little carpet on it. Wow. That is so cool. Look at this one, you guys. There's this giant, like, metal one. Oh, what is it? No, it's metal. I'm loving just how sensory everything is already. So obviously you guys know that I love fashion and fashion is different everywhere around the world, which is something that I think is so interesting and something that I love about it. And I can't see pictures, right? So I've heard about the way that they dress over here in Dubai, the traditional dress, but I've never been able to visualize it because I've never seen it. And so here at the market, I'm touching the traditional clothing on these mannequins here. So this is the little boys and it's this really nice lightweight cotton material for the warm weather here and I'm just able to feel like the material of the scarves that they wear and what goes around the neck and this is the women's clothing and I'm able to feel the beadwork on the hem and 
what the scarf would be that she would wear and it's just really interesting because I don't get to see pictures on the internet or see costumes and movies and things like that so now I'm able to better visualize it in my own way. You guys look at these bags my mom just pointed out. These remind me of, oh my god, what's that designer? There's a designer who does this and they're ridiculously expensive. I'm sure they're much more affordable here. But they're so fun. These are so me. This is a glittery watermelon crunch. And my mom said there's a candy here. Is this That's the candy? The candy. <gasps> these are so fun. Okay, these are definitely knockoffs of the ones that I'm thinking of. But I would much rather the affordable version. I've been feeling all these beautiful perfume bottles. They're very known for perfume oils and fragrances here. And there's also here this um, like model of the Museum of the Future, which obviously I can't see. It's one of the most spectacular buildings there is in the world. And it's this like almost shape of an eye, and the center is hollowed out. So it's like in this circle in the middle that you obviously there's nothing in there, and you can't go in these parts of the building. But the whole museum takes place in this big section here. It's really fun. Just this area down below where you walk and there's all these different restaurants. There's like a steakhouse, Italian, Persian, American, like all these different restaurants. And then there's the canal with the water. Here's more footage of Molly being guided through the mall by the tour guide. There's beautiful art sculptures, pottery amazing looking food and desserts. There's a table that has Turkish delight. Stunning. To the Arabian Gulf, I'm on the beach and I'm gonna stick my feet in the water. Oh. <laughs> it's chilly. I don't think this beach has it, but some of the beaches here in Dubai have a lot of really good accessibility features, particularly for those with mobility needs. Like some of them have a ramp that you can use your wheelchair on straight into the water. And some of them have like, um, wheelchairs that you can actually go into the water with, which is amazing. And for me, as like a somebody with my cane, that would be nice for me to be able to use my cane on that to get into the water, because typically I can't really use my cane on the beach. So I think that's really cool. They don't have it on this one, but it's just amazing to see in a modern city what accessibility features can exist. So this floor is the inventions of the future. So there's a robot. Also that adorable guide we had on the last floor, he follows me. He was like, your videos bring me to tears all the time. I was like, he's the sweetest man. Now we just need a guide dog, a robot. Yes. Part time. Up, up next. This is a concept car, like a driverless car for the future. And it's a Volkswagen. It's my dream. I'm at the Museum of the Future and I'm in the spaceship heading to 2071. It's your face, so you're in an astronaut suit, like it's really, really Am I moving? cool. You're a junior bio designer, location Earth orbit. That's so cute. That's do so I funny. look cute? Yes, you do. Am I moving? Is it moving? It is, your head's <gasps> moving. It moves Wait, with you. Can I move my hand? Can it see Let's me? See? Um, your head's moving, but not your hand. We've got the future here in front of us. A certain percentage of them help in the detoxification at the bottom, while the rest help in clearing of the air particles. There are different elements within the forest that are working hand in hand with each other. We're in the DNA lab, so this is where they store That's all of the DNA, so that in the future they can like pull from that DNA. Molly has found herself a guide <laughs> who's going to bring her into the next room. Okay, so this area is all about feeling therapy, and so this floor beneath me is designed to almost feel like you're walking on a beach. It's very soft under your feet, and it's to help with pain and link to things like knees and ankles. And the next area is hand massages. So because of the cool thing that we're seeing here, the audio got messed up in this clip, but there are sound waves that are being used to allow you to massage your hands and feel the rhythm and pressure on your hands. Very, very cool. Molly explains it, but because of that, the audio was hard to listen to. So this is about grounding therapy using vibration and sound. So there are these gongs here. I can feel them vibrating. And you can feel the vibrations like through your body to just like relax and be present in the moment, take out all the negativity. Um, use your voice, make sure your light is moving. Um, um, Alright, let's stop humming. 
remain in the same position. Now, spell your speaker. This wall has all these tactile engravings of different words in different languages, and it's almost like a vision board for the future, like hope and love and family and science and that moving forward, like goodness will come. Because I think there's so much like doom and gloom about the future, you know, and how scary and negative it's going to be. But we have to have hope because if we're putting the negative energy out, that's what we're going to attract. But if we put the positive energy out, like good things are going to come from all of this modern medicine and science and research. Like that's what we're going to bring. So I love this. On this floor, this has been my private guide. You've been so wonderful. What's your name? My name is Matt. Thank you so much. And you just said the most kind and lovely statement. Can you share it with my of followers? Of course, I said that UAE is your country and we are your family in here and you're always welcome in here. We'll all will be one family. I love this energy. We have come to the Museum of the Future. That is the next stop on our trip from the beach to the museum. We're doing it all in one day. And something that's great is just so everybody knows, you do have to like book way ahead in advance out you have to buy the tickets otherwise people buy them and resell them for profit like a like it's a taylor swift concert or something so definitely if you want to come make sure to get your tickets early but if you're blind like me uh you and your guests get in for free and you don't necessarily have to pre-book we did not pre-book we were like oh my god are we gonna be able to get in and because i'm blind we were able to get in for free so sometimes being blind ain't so bad and now i want to show you what the museum of the future has to offer early in the center of the building this is such a beautiful design. We're having a traditional lunch. We have had the most amazing first day here. I'm obsessed. It's so beautiful. The people are so lovely. And we wanted to have some traditional food. So our guide brought us to this restaurant. What is it called? The Arabian Fish House? Something? Yes, Arabian Fish House. Okay. And um, we're having mor Moroccan iced tea, which Moroccan tea is usually like a green tea mint with fresh mint leaves and usually some kind of sweetener. Um, like agave nectar, so I'm gonna give it a try. There's so many leaves to drink through. <laughs> Incredible, it tastes like lemonade. There is few things I love more in life than freshly made hummus. If you've never had it, you will never eat store-bought hummus again. So there's this fresh warm pita bread and this beautiful hummus. Spectacular. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good? Do you smell all the spices? Yes, sounds delicious. We're on this old boat and we are crossing the creek to get to an old spices and gold market. This is so incredible. This is so fun. We're in one of the spice shops now and it smells so good. Like there's just these good smells everywhere I go. And a date. Chocolate. Some camel milk gelato. And I'm torn between date, the saffron, or the camel flavor. Which one should I do? I would definitely would do... Gotta try the, the camel milk. Okay, can I do... I'll do two scoops. Yes, two scoops. The camel, and should I do date or saffron? For me, it's saffron. Saffron? I'll do the saffron. I'm not gonna lie, I've already had a bite and it's exquisite. It is incredible. Is this one thing as a blind tourist is unaffected. Like, my taste buds, I love eating all the local foods, trying new things. The saffron flavor, it's so light and delicate when you taste that bit of saffron at the end. The camel milk flavor, also delicious. They're both made with camel milk. It's light, it's, it's delicate, flavorful, like, I am a big fan. Day two in Dubai, and this morning we just had breakfast at the hotel, and then we came back to the souk, which is the first market we came to yesterday, because there was some things that I was like, I think I might want to buy that. So I came and I bought it. And now we're having, thank you so much. Now we are having our lunch at the souk. It's at a restaurant that is more authentic local food because I'm all about that. Um, one of my exes was half Lebanese, so he really got me into uh, Middle Eastern food. And so we're having some tabbouleh, we're having some kibbeh, and we're having some fried halloumi, and then I'm having a date and mango smoothie that tastes so fresh. 
so when we were at the market yesterday, the tour guide told us that you need to like go back and forth on the price. Like the price they tell you to begin with isn't the price. You know, you gotta get them down because he just said like that's a part of the culture. So I've been trying. Okay, you guys, I've been trying, but it's so out of my comfort zone. It's so not my nature. So I feel like I'm doing a really bad job. I'm like getting them to give me lower prices, sure. But like they agree so quickly that I know I'm not doing a good job. Like if I was doing a good job, they'd be going back and forth more. Do you know what I'm saying? But I did get this cute pearl necklace which I think layers so nicely with this and I got this bracelet that's like leather and all of these different size pearls which I think looks so cute with this outfit and pearls I was informed is like a big industry here or it was so um, he was telling me that in I think like the 1920s to early 1930s that was like their biggest industry here but then Japan figured out how to make like fake pearls and that really took away from the business. So um, pearls are like a big thing here and these apparently are the real freshwater pearls or something like that. So I'm actually obsessed with them. I'm really excited. I wanna to try to find a souvenir for Elton and I've been finding like stuffed camels everywhere, but I've gotta find the right stuffed camel. So that's what we're on the hunt for now. I found lots of camels for Elton, but none of them were the right camel until this one, you guys, it's perfect. It's big enough for him. It has like soft eyes because the hard eyes for dogs can be dangerous if they chew them out or anything. And it's wearing a bandana, just like Elton. I think he's going to love it. All right, post lunch and market, we have come to the very famous Dubai Mall, which has apparently something like 1,600 stores. That's one zero, no, one six zero zero. Crazy, I think there's like an aquarium. Uh, there's like fountains with a fountain show so we're just like wandering around my mom is saying it's like beautiful like just stunning. everything is stunning stunning what makes me sad though with shopping is like everything's just the same like a lot of it is just the same stores as everywhere else which makes shopping so much less fun like I love shopping at local stores from local designers and I knew coming to a big mall like this like that wasn't gonna be the case here but you gotta come. Everybody was like, you gotta go to the Dubai Mall. Okay, so outside the Dubai Mall, we're at these fountains that are kind of like the ones in Las Vegas. And apparently at six o'clock, they turn on and they play like international music and it's a whole thing or something. So we've come out, there's tons of people here, so it seems like something must be happening soon. And then there's the Burj Khalif. That's right, Burj Khalif. I'm probably butchering the, the pronunciation. Oh, I forgot to mention, yesterday we learned how to say thank you. Again, my Canadian accent on this is gonna make it sound terrible, but shukran. And my mom cannot remember it for the life. No, so it's like every time she goes, say thank you. And I'm like, it's, and I'm like, shukran. It feels like you're like three years of age. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show this beautiful building. So that is the tallest building in the world. They took it away from us. CN Tower in Toronto used to be until this went up. I think 2013 it opened or something like that. Um, so I've been to the CN Tower couldn't see a damn thing. So um, I know when you come to Dubai, you should go up the Bush Cleef, but you guys, I can't see the views, you know? So standing near it is as good as we're gonna get. And I think like the wait is really long and it's super expensive for me to go up a tall building that I then can't see anything from. So I'm content with being at the second tallest building in the world when it was the tallest building in the world. <laughs> but I want to be here for the fountains, so we'll see what happens. One of those pretty little boats is going to go by you right now, Molly. So we'll... Ooh, also, you guys? <laughs> Duck, hold on, there it is. It's so gorgeous. You know me, I love boats. <laughs> she loves boats. We went to Zara. Zara, which is one of the few stores that does, like, sell different things in different <laughs> cities and different countries. Like, even just Toronto to LA sell different things. And I got three really cool pieces. Mom got two. Yep. And but I love. Look. But I'm with the pain, right? So I would like hand it to her while I was trying something on. And then she'd walk away with it. <laughs> she'd just walk away with my cane because she'd see something else. And I'd be like, excuse me, ma'am, you took my eyes? You took my eyes. <laughs> Here we see some footage of the water fountain show. There's a skyline of beautiful tall buildings behind the water as it flows in a really beautiful artistic way. So fun. I can feel the mist and it almost sounds like fireworks when I do it. We're getting 
getting baklava, which is one of my favorite things ever. After the fountain show, we're now having baklava at a place that's apparently like over 100 years old. Apparently they have the best baklava. I am a baklava girl, so I'm really excited. We got four different flavors to try. We're gonna put them in a box and take them home. We got a classic, a pistachio, a chocolate walnut, and something else, but I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, look, you could try it. Mm. If you've never had baklava, I urge you, you have to try it. Look at all these beautiful desserts. Before we leave the Dubai Mall, we want to go to Waitrose, which is a grocery store, because we want to get some camel's milk. That just got bright. Before we do that, we had to come to the aquarium. And we could go inside, and we did debate it. However, I can't see any of them, and also my feet hurt so bad. It is 6.30, it's been a long day of walking. And so we're just gonna show you guys inside this mall. There's this big aquarium, and apparently you can see fishies, can you, Mom? Oh, tons. Under, Under the, the sea. sea. <laughs> Down where it's wetter. That's where life's better. Under the sea. I don't, I don't know if those are the words. I don't know, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if those are the words. We secured the camel milk and some other goodies for a taste test. And now we are just waiting on our bags and we're gonna get a taxi back to the hotel. I have a little meeting um, to catch on Zoom. I'm also exhausted. My feet hurt so bad. I've changed into my mom's Crocs. But I wish we had known about this sooner. We're standing here waiting because there's this service at the Dubai Mall. It is free. You go to the information desk and you can drop off all of your shopping bags and they will keep them for you and then you call them and you give them your ticket number and they will bring them to you wherever you are in the mall. And that's so amazing. Anybody can use it and it's great for anybody, but I think especially for the disability community, like for people with who are amputees, who have upper limb differences, who use a mobility aid and don't have space for all of their shopping bags. For me, like I have one hand has a cane and it's been so busy that I've been needing sighted guide so I can't then help my mom carry the bags. So it's just such an amazing service. It was so sweet. The guy noticed that it, my feet were hurting because I was like crouching down while my mom was signing the paperwork for it. And he brought me a chair to sit in. Like they're so hospitable here. The people have been so kind. I just am having such a wonderful time. It is our third full day in Dubai and I'm not gonna lie to you, it's been a bit of a fail so far, but I feel like whenever you travel, you have to expect there to be at least one day where like things don't go right or you're not feeling that good. Your jet lag is hitting you. Like it's just a part of travel. So I'm not letting it get me down, okay? And we have a really fun night planned tonight. So I'm really looking forward to that. And until then, I'm just gonna rest a bit because I'm not feeling great. You can probably hear my voice. I just have a very mild cold, but I feel like the mild cold combined with jet lag, it's just like, oof, you know? I'm gonna do a little taste test. I love going to grocery stores or convenience stores when I'm in different countries and just seeing what they have to offer. And we have what I keep calling goat's milk, but is actually camel's milk. Um, I don't know why. I think it's because I eat goat's yogurt back in North America. Um, the goat yogurt from Trader Joe's, phenomenal. My favorite yogurt. Um, but cow milk is extremely nutritious for you. So I had to pick some up. I got regular and chocolate, which I'm very excited about. And powdered goat's milk. See? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Camel. Very different from a, a camel. Very a different. Goat. Um, powdered camel's milk to bring back with me because again, it is so nutritious. And if you buy like this size at Erewhon, it's like twenty dollars. And if you buy it from like your like I we our naturopath sells powdered, super expensive. So we picked it up. It is so nutritious, and I'm excited to try it. I've never tried it before. Um, which one should I start with? Or should I, you know what? I'm gonna save that for last because it's the most interesting. I'm gonna start with some of the snackies. Now, honestly, some of these probably aren't actually like Arabic snacks or United Arab Emirates snacks. They're just different snacks that I've never tried. I noticed they have a lot of like British snacks and stuff. So I'm not promising that these are actually like local snacks. They're just snacks that I've never tried. What do we have here? Kurkur, kurkur, masala munch. Is it this way? Yeah. I love masala. Ooh. By the way, my I've had vertigo for like three days straight, which is super annoying. 
it's like mild but constant which is like so every time i move my head around it's very annoying Ooh. Mm. okay so they're kind of like the shape of like a cheese puff mm. like a cheeto nice a bit spicy light crunchy mm. Mm. do you want to try mm -hmm. it's quite spicy actually mm. you improved mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Wow, really good. just taking that bite made me hungry. <laughs> okay. Palm bear, cheese and onion. Palm bear. Okay. Never heard of palm bears. Never heard of it. Other way up, money. Yeah? You got it. Yeah. I love trying new foods. Ooh. Oh, it's so cute, a little teddy bear. It's like a little teddy bear, and it's super light. So, like, for some reason, I was expecting almost like a teddy graham cracker feel. But no, it's like, um, a, again, like very lightweight, airy feel. Ooh. Mmm. It has cheese and onion flavor, almost like a potato, but much lighter in flavor. Like the flavor isn't as strong. Tato is an Irish potato chip. The cheese and onion flavor is the best. But your breath will smell for two days, won't it? Oh, yeah. Days. It's delicious. These wouldn't do that to you, but you get the same satisfaction of the flavor. There's almost like a slight sweetness, but maybe that's just because my mouth is still spicy. So this is like reading as sweet. Mm. These are really satisfying. Mm -hmm. I am going to, after we're done filming this, I'm going to be munching on all of this. Okay. Oh, that's, <laughs> oh, here it is. 10 pickup minis. Never heard of pickups. Pickups. If you guys have heard of these, tell me where they're, where in the world these are all from. Okay. They're big on dates and camel milk stuff here. What is Pick up this? Original. It's oh, a, okay. like a it's a like a cookie biscuit with chocolate in the middle. Ooh. Mmm. 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 That's really good. Okay, you need to open one for me. Mmm. You can probably hear my mom crunching behind the camera. I know, I'm so hungry. This is the best so far. Like my favorite so far. Which is interesting because I'm usually more of a savory than sweet girl, but these are really good. Really good. Next, we have some camel milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. What flavor is it, Mom? That one is first and finest camel milk chocolate. I think there's, yeah, there's orange bits in there. Delish. I love orange chocolate. I love mint chocolate. The only chocolate I really don't like is white chocolate. I mean, it's not even chocolate. Come on now. Okay, mm -hmm. this is interesting. They're like long pieces instead of squares. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. It reminds me of one of my favorite chocolates, which is the lit, um, lint. Oh, yeah. The lint orange chocolate bar. Orange and chocolate go really well together. This is delicious. We've come to the moment we've all been waiting for. It's time to try some camel milk. Which one's this one? Oh, just a regular. Just turn it around. Yeah. I was warned it would taste like more sour than cow's milk. Genuinely, I can't tell you the last time I drank cow's milk. Um, I am There's mildly... some chocolate on your bottom teeth. <laughs> Thank you. Ignore the chocolate in my teeth. It'll be gone soon once I take a sip of this. I'm like mildly lactose intolerant, so I don't really consume much cow's dairy. Goats is fine. Cow, mm, dicey. I used to be very lactose intolerant, but I've gotten better over the years simply because I limit my dairy intake. So I cannot tell you the last time I drank cow's milk, so I honestly will not be able to compare the flavor very much. But I was told it's less sweet than cow's milk. It just smells like milk. Like it doesn't have any particular scent. Okay. It's thick. Like that's a two percenter, okay? This is thick. It tastes like milk to me. If I was to attempt to dig deep back into my, my brain as to what milk tasted like from my childhood, that tastes like milk. And now the chocolate. I love me a chocolate milk. Oh, it smells chocolatey. <gasps> like, rich. Now that tastes less sweet than chocolate milk in North America. It tastes like genuine chocolate. Like it does not taste super sugary. It's really tasty. Like I prefer this because you guys know I'm not a huge sweet tooth. I'm definitely more savory, salty, spicy girl. And with chocolate, I love a dark chocolate, a bitter chocolate. So this is like definitely hitting the spot for me. But if you're used to a super sweet chocolate milk, this is not that. It's not not sweet, but it is definitely less sweet than I would be used to, but in a way that I really enjoy. My mom is jealous. Ugh, it's incredible. This is that baklava place we went to. 
Baklava, Baklava, whatever, however you pronounce it. Um, place that we went to at the Dubai Mall yesterday. What's it called, Mom? It is Hachi Ismail Hakizaid. Oh, she's As butchering if, that. Yeah, it's know. really bad. Um, but it's been around since like 1864 or something. So over 100 years. I believe it's from Turkey, the brand. And my mom already ate hers. So I did. I couldn't stop last looking, time. I wasn't even hungry. Looking mangled in there. I had my my half of the classic one. So these are my halves of the other flavors. And I'm very much looking forward to it. Oh. That's, that's the regular pistachio. Mm. Now you have to try the chocolate. Is that this one? Yeah. Both are chocolate that are left. Just different types. Wow. Mm. Amazing. Mm. It's so hard to stop eating it. Wow. Any baklava that isn't just like the standard flavor. Um, this is really yummy. It's subtle. The difference is subtle. It still very much tastes like the baklava I know and love. All right, I'm gonna take a bite of this final one. Mm. And then I'm gonna love you and leave you. Drink my camel's milk, eat my snacks, and relax until our adventure tonight. I've already had a double shot of espresso today and now I'm drinking green tea, not because I am jet lagged, um, but because I'm on my period. She came with a vengeance. I am so drained, but I was jet lagged. We were jet lagged, weren't we, Nave? Oh, so jet lagged. We've been back for just over a week and there's still so much more of this trip that I can't wait for you guys to see in next week's video, but it was like an hour and 20 minutes of footage. So we decided to break it down. But before I end out this video, I did want to do like a little haul of the things that I got at Zara as well as at the Souk, that market that I went to twice because I didn't show you guys properly. I showed you the necklace, the pearl necklace and bracelet, um, but I don't think I really showed you anything else. So that's what we're going to do. But first, I do want to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that is a longtime partner of this channel, Squarespace. My website, mollyburkofficial.com, is built as a Squarespace website, meaning I used one of their flexible templates to create a website that looks completely unique and individualized to my brand. So basically, they, get, they have all these flexible templates for you to pick from. So you can pick one that suits your vibe, the style that you're going for, and then once you do, you can customize it further to make it completely look unique. There is honestly no reason to build a website from scratch at this point when they have something available like that for you. There's all different features. There is everything from having an online storefront, merch, you can book appointments, they have marketing tools, analytics, and so much more. And you can use my code mollyberg to get 10% off your purchase of a website or domain name. So definitely make sure to check that out because it is such a great tool to use to build a space to make your brand look amazing. You can integrate your social media, integrate a blog, you can have a paywall to sell digital and virtual products, as well as your physical products that you can sell, of course, as well. And again, so much more. So I'm gonna link some stuff down there in the description box below about that. And without further ado, let's get into this little tiny, tiny baby mini haul. Now, this was not like a shopping trip. I was there for so much more, a cultural experience, number one. And there's just so much to do in Dubai. Like, we need to go back. There's truly so much more that I wanna do when, I'm, when I go. Um, and then also the main reason that I was there, which will be in the next part of the video next week, which is the Forbes 3050 Women's Summit in Abu Dhabi. That's really the reason I was there. And the reason I went to Dubai first was simply to get over the jet lag so I could be fully present because it is a 12 hour time change and a 16 hour direct flight. Unfortunately, we did not get a direct flight on the way there. Um, anyways, what I got. Hello, this bag is stunning. I had to stop myself from buying more bags. I, I got two. I got this one and the next one I'll show you, but the bags at the souk were spectacular. Just so stunning. Like to me, honestly, this is like a, a work of art and they even had way more, honestly, way more beautiful ones, but I just thought this one was super wearable for me. It's gold and cream. Yes. It's gold and cream beads. It's entirely bead work, the bead handles and everything. And then it snaps open at the top, it's a little stuffing in there, buttons on the side that you snap to keep it like this. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I love the noise. And in the sun, when these gold beads hit the sun, the fringe, it is magnetizing. You guys know me and my glitter. So obsessed with this gold purse and she has already gotten wear twice. She has been worn twice. 
And then the next bag, I could not. I had to pick this up. It is silver and white. And it is like a dome, like a pyramid bag with this adorable wrist strap. You can hold it with your hand or wrap it around your wrist. This is just the detail in the handle alone, all through this purse. And then you just snap it open like that on the sides. Oh. There we go. <laughs> I was like, I probably should have tested this at the market. Pregnant sounds. <laughs> I was like, oh, what's God, in is there? It, is something it broken? In there. No, it's just stuffing. Oh, it's stuffing. Okay. I thought I put pack some clothes in there. No. Like... Could you imagine? It's my bra. No. <laughs> <laughs> what bra? Yeah. So obsessed with this and cannot wait to style it. Just like so stunning. And the price point, you couldn't beat it. To me, like these and all the other bags either looked like they are designer or were just straight up kind of inspired by heavily mm -hmm. designer bags and just at such affordable prices couldn't pass that up nope. and then at the Zara we both found you found two pieces I found three pieces mm -hmm. first off this sweater I know this is not everybody's taste my style in general is not everybody's taste I get that I'm a little bit extra that's just me and it is a knit cardigan zip up hoodie I guess more zip up hoodie it's knit and the entire outside is essentially spray painted silver. And it's a thick. thick. It's she's thick. Yeah. This is thick. And then the and wool big stitch is gray, right? Yeah, light gray. So it's a light gray inside and like the strings, but then the whole thing is spray painted silver, and I love it so much. I immediately was like, um, yes, buying that. I have so many ways that I'm gonna style this. I cannot wait. And I even feel like the juxtaposition of like the casual cardigan with styled with this purse like I feel like I could make it work in love I've already worn it twice and then I got these two denim pieces unfortunately they don't go, go together like I really wish they were the same color denim otherwise I would have done a full denim on denim Canadian tuxedo moment Britney Spears moment um but alas they don't go together so I will find different ways to style it but this jean crop top like baggy it is so 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 cute it's like a dark denim right like a yes. navy blue denim yes. and then does it have the light orange stitching yeah like a kind of an orangey yellow like yeah like yellow the classic maybe, yeah. light orangey yeah. yellow creamy stitching and it's a v-neck the little chest pockets this is really really cute i feel like with my hair and then like a bright red lip a like a um like a cute my cute black mesh skirt mm. or like some baggy pants. I think it's better bring it to me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we were going to leave her. We were going to leave her, but she is so good. I love this top so much. Such a good find of me Burks. Thank you. And then these, we passed them and I had to go back and grab them. Cause I was like, I'm going to think about those unless I try them on. And I was like, look, they might not work, but if they do, these are so cool. So fun. So different. I've personally never seen anything like them. Both this cardigan, and these jeans, for me, are giving designer. Like, they're giving indie designer, but affordable. So funny. I feel like I'm the girl who picks up all the pieces at Zara that people are like, what is Zara thinking? And I'm like, they're thinking of me. Um, these jeans are, like everything I own, not going to be for everybody. They are crinkly jeans, okay? They are and a low rise. A low rise. Um, and then they're kind of like fitted, um, but like straight leg. And they're stretchy. Nope. No. No. Oh, no stretch. Okay. They're not stretchy. Yeah. I wish they were stretchy, mm -hmm. but they're worth it. Like these are a going out jean for me. They're not an everyday jean. These are like a style it for a cool, funky evening out type of look. But you guys, come on now. This is so cool. I just think, again, it's giving designer. Like this is giving niche, interesting, indie, up and coming designer but affordable in fact who knows these pieces might even be knockoffs or inspired by designer i don't know but that's what it's giving to me so i know and i know you know that i can style this to be very cool so that's basically all i got um but i'm obsessed with everything as well as that pearl bracelet and necklace which i've been wearing a lot obsessed so anyways that is it for today's video if you would like to see me gallivant around tokyo you can click over here to watch this video. Or if you would like to hear me talk about all the ways in which I feel God tried to make up for the fact that he made me blind, you can watch this video right here. And I'll see you in the next Dubai slash Abu Dhabi video.